No, Alame. Uh, you are free to make your suggestions, especially if it has to benefit the people. It's not a stupid suggestion. We can walk around it. 200 million is not enough to do anything right now. Yeah. Given the cost of things, why don't you keep 100 million for yourself and then give us 100 million to buy rice, beans, and gari for other constituents to share? Okay, I think this one is stupid. Exactly. If only we could be having a celebration like this in our life every day. Uh, uh, life is good. <laughs> this is the reason why it is good to be a parliamentarian. Yes. <laughs> so let's have a toast. Uh, but, uh, Honorable Malik, my brother, you have not told me what we are really celebrating. You know, you called me, then you came over with this drink. Don't you think I deserve to know what we are celebrating, what the occasion is all about? <laughs> Like what I was saying before, <clears throat> the vision was very clear, direct and on point. Emoji, yeah. may I know what the vision is about? You see, the Lord is angry with your husband. Yes, the Lord is very angry with your husband. When your husband is being warned. Okay. Mm. It's you who saw the vision. And you've come here to ask me to warn my husband. It's also, you know, okay that you tell me what you saw in the vision. Okay, good. <coughs> Glory. There is something your husband is doing. And he's about to repeat it again. And this time around, it will affect him drastically. Hmm. Yes. And this one is coming with fire and thunder. Hmm. <laughs> Honorable, are you trying to say that um, you don't know the reason why I'm about to propose or the reason why we are celebrating? I don't know, of course. I, I don't. Am I a magician? Are you trying to tell me that uh, you've not received any alert yet? Alert? Yes. From who? How? When? Are you trying to say that you have not received your own 200 million constituency allocation? Oh, yes, and, and so? Oh, yes, and so? Is that the response I'm supposed to get? Eh? For such a huge amount of money? Malik, what are you even saying? The 200 million allocated to us is for constituency projects. Ah, oh wait, you think the federal government releasing that money as an allocation to us to do projects for our constituents is a favor? You think they are doing our constituents a favor by allocating that money to us? No! What is even 200 million at this time, at this economy? How many projects can 200 million execute? It's not our money. Why should we be celebrating? What are we celebrating? What are you saying? This money is being given to us once in a year. And for crying out loud, well, uh, I, I would say, well, I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah, it, it's small. But uh, we just have to manage it. You know, let's consider it as a bonus. No, it is not a bonus. Even our constituents deserve more. But what can we do? The best we can do is put that money into good use to benefit our constituents. What? Did I just hear you say project? Of course. Emoji, talk to me now. Why are you beating around the bush? You see, daughter of grace, <clears throat> I'm not beating around the bush. Constituency allowances have been paid to Zadi. Over 200 million naira at his disposal. So? Do you know, for the past two years, 
that your husband has not paid tight from the constituency allowances allocated to him. What project are you talking about? Constituency projects, of course. Isn't that what the money is meant for? You are not serious, are you? Have you seen us use such amount of money to run projects in our constituencies? That has to stop. Are you not seeing the negative effect of that greedy and selfish behavior in the lives of the people we represent in parliament? No, Honorable Mali, that has to stop. Huh? And to think you are really here to celebrate money meant for the people. Honorable Mali, I'm heartbroken. I'm ashamed. I'm disappointed. I'm not happy. I think uh, you are not in the right mood of reasoning right now. I think I have to go somewhere else to celebrate. Because I cannot be listening to this kind of things you are saying. Hey, we are going to a We are going to marry your man. Money that we need to spend on ourselves. You go where? Where will you go where? Where will you? These people. Okay, money. now let me go and see my people. Oh uh, yeah, go and celebrate. Uh, carry your drink, or carry. Yeah. I, I don't want to drink. Carry, carry. Go and drink and celebrate your fevery. I'm not happy with you. Why can't you be thinking of that? This table you are shaking. This table you are shaking. This is something that our fathers have done before us. This is your righteousness. We will see where we land. It. This is not a matter of righteousness. This is a matter of contentment. We should be contented. Will you die? If you die, will you go with the money? How can you be content? Will you better you with this money? I will, I will go with the money. Do, do you put money in yes, your grave? I am going with the money. Honorable Malik, you are too greedy. Our, our you need fathers have gone with the money. Our hey, forefathers have gone with the money. Carry your drink. Carry your drink. I leave my office. You have four years left. But you just said it by yourself constituency allowance. So what has that got to do with tithing? Got to do with it. In as far money has entered his account, we need to give God his chair. Hey. We need to pay his tithe. Because money is concerned. You don't eat God's tithe. He said, pay your 10 your, your, your ten percent and I will open the windows of heaven. The windows of heaven. And, I, and there will be many meat, plenty meat in my house. Who oh, will not eat abundance? Call your husband and send it a tight. Because I saw angels with thunder coming down. You want to destroy Okay, Nero, now since when that one starts? Uh -uh. Now, you of all people, now they talk this kind of thing. You know, you see the way people are tasted, they lost any of us in this country. Wait till you come, Sammy. I'm going to put your job and come up for you. If you, say, if you say you won't put me for a problem, maybe you can't go outside this gate now. Maybe you call lost. You call lost. I, call... I don't want her, more. I don't want her. And you know, say, if anything happened to you now, I don't the big problem. What about if the kidnappers got to say, now place your head, now they need. If I cut my head, come on, go give the kidnappers. Wait till you be my steez. Hope you know, say, they waste my time. If I go back to that house, my can she, eh? I swear, I'm going to report you give madam. How oh, you know they're going to wear you? But I don't want to panic. This is my mind, so I don't want to panic. Do you know the government of this country is supposed to be paying tithes and offerings from the tax and the revenue they are generating from the people of this country? Emoji, leave that one, eh? Leave it. It will not work. No problem. So you see how things are going from bad to worse. It's not because those people in power are going to give the will of God. They don't pay their 10% to God. You see, I'm in the book of Malachi and warned us. Yes, to desist from it. <laughs> Emoji. There's politics and there's religion. Please don't try to mix the both. I beg. Just leave it. Uh, 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 no problem. Anyway, anyway, uh, anyway I, I can see some 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 sense of what you are saying, but uh, you see, <coughs> I'm here because of Sadi because uh, he has a special place in the heart of God. You see, uh, you have to tell him to pay his tithe. Yeah. <laughs> yes. oh. Leave Sadi out of this. Hmm? Don't even go there. Don't even go there. It will not work. Hmm? And yes, don't go to his office. I beg you. Hmm? Anyway, no problem. Uh, <coughs> let me go and do the work of my father. <coughs> uh, uh, I, I don't have it. I like me to land. I was I wanted to tell you something different. Oh yeah, what is it? I wanted to tell you that but Wednesday we'll be having a, a weekly energy service. Can you come along? I already know. Okay, look if you have any work. I don't room, have it. No mm. spare cash. No. Have you checked the wardrobe? There's no. No problem. 
Can you give me water? Emoji. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I need water. <coughs> All right, uh, as you all know, the uh, constituency project allowance have been released to all parliamentarians nationwide to go and execute constituency projects in their various constituencies. Although the money is not too much, but I'm thinking of uh, how to make the best, how to make the most out of it. Uh, that's something that will benefit our people, the constituents. Uh, it's small, but I want to have, I want this money to have an impact this year. So I decided to consult you people. I want to involve you guys because you are more closer to the grassroots more than I do. You should be my intermediary between the grassroots people uh, and I. So I want you to make suggestions. Which areas do you think we should focus on that will benefit the people? Okay, I know you want to say something. Yes, sir. Um, but I don't know how it may sound to you, so it's better if I keep it inside. No, Anome. Uh, you are free to make your suggestions, especially if it has to benefit the people. It's, it's not a stupid suggestion. We can work around it. 200 million is not enough to do anything right now. <laughs> Given the cost of things, why don't you keep... 100 million for yourself and then give us 100 million to buy rice, beans and gari for other constituents to share. Okay, I think this one is stupid. Exactly. How can you say we should share um, beans and gari to the people? How long will it last? And how many people would, would even get access to it when we start? What we should be talking about or thinking about is how things will be worthwhile for the people. How people can benefit from it. I think uh, I, I'm liking this, uh, uh, Mr. Kells. I, I, I love your idea. Yes. So, sir, um, I know a couple of areas in the constituency that have been suffering because of blackout due to lack of transformers. Mm. Mm. So, what I think we should do is facilitate the provision of a transformer, and I'm sure they will be happy and to make more sense to them. You know, um, let there be light. I love that kind of project. Uh, if our people can benefit from that, I think that is a good idea. And uh, different communities within the constituencies that are suffering transformer issues, we can we can help. So I will um, approve that both of you should go and investigate. Let us know where and where and where and which is paramount. Or just go and investigate and come back with a report and a feasibility study. Then we can start or something. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Share beans and rice. <laughs> Madam Beans. Thank you, sir. There you are. You are. Oh, yeah, pa no panic. No panic. I'm not going to mind you again. Uh, I don't know whether you're going to need escorts. I feel you lock everybody, both for Assad and Israel, because of you. What do you care for now and your safety? Shut that hole you call a mat. Wait till you your name again. Agbura be na ogenero. You be like say one me madam fuck you from this your this is uh, this your palace get man work where you dey use whole body. So you go say na what princess I be? <laughs> See, na the angle where you say the view am may be that. As I did so I get plans, very big plans. See, if I tell you money where me don't gather like this for this get man work, you know go you go open mat like way wah. <laughs> Let me make it safe. Well, I get plans to open my own security company. And uh, saving money for what? Eh? Kels, this thing you are saying, me, I don't understand though. What are you even saying? Eh? Which one is Transformer that you are bringing up? Since when has it been the government's responsibility to give people Transformer? Oh no, are you being serious right now? Is electricity not part of social amenities anymore? It's like you don't know how this country works. If you convince Zadi to put that money in Transformers, it's going to be a total waste of our time and money. Oh no, I don't think so. Because those people in those affected areas will get to have electricity and that's something to be grateful for. It's like you don't know how this power company works around here. 
the last time Transformer got spoilt in my area, everybody in that area contributed money to get a new one. Even the government donated money for a new Transformer. See, if you had stuck to my plan, we would have delivered and still made profits. Truth, this one, I don't understand, honestly. <laughs> You won't be concerned, you concern waiting with the talk. Wait, your ear take go hear money. See, Mr. Mike, very, very, very careful with the tune you're using to talk to me. As, as great as I am, anointed man of God, anointed from my mother's womb, I'm very sensitive spiritually. In fact, I have the spirit of discernment. When it, when it comes to the things of God, I'm very, very, very sensitive. Well done, Mr. Sensitive. I like that your body they sense anything where you now. You hear me? Look at you, Mr. Man. I know you are struggling, you are working. And as you are working, you also pay your tight. You pay your tight. Even you looking for me to look back you have to pay your tight. Because the only thing that will make God to pardon you and still show mercy on you is when you are paying your tight. Because as you pay your tight, in Jamaica in heaven, record them. How many you call them? Moses, MOG. Uh, honorable, honorable, you took me tight. So start paying your tight because what I'm seeing you now, be careful. Shh. Don't go to such a game. You're moving anyhow. I mean, you suit like blue food. You need prayers. I need to place you on 21 days fasting and prayer. Where are you, my friend? Stop, stop there. Don't move anywhere. Come back. <laughs> yes. What did you say your name is again? My name is Fidelia. I'm a marketer working with HBPB, which is short for High Blood Pressure Bank PLC. Hmm. Fidelia? What a fine name and pretty name for a beautiful lady like you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so, to what do I owe this um, unannounced visit? Um, well, sir, it was my manager that asked me to come and see you. It is business related. Mm. Okay. Hey! Where do you think you are matching to this girl, eh? It cannot be me you are referring to as this girl. It really cannot be me. Should I have called you big baby, old man, or old baby? Eh? Which one do you prefer? I say where are you marching to without manners or courtesy? It's like you are tired of your job in this office and now sit to it. Um, well, sir, it is about an investment package that my bank currently runs. You see, we understand that the federal government have paid all parliamentarians their constituency allocation fee. 200 million to be exact. Yes, and so? So do you know that you can invest this money with us for six months and get 50% of it as interest? Wow. Yes. Sissy, what is going on? What, what, you are supposed to be in school. This is why you budge into my office like this. Is everything okay? Why that face? Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. What is it? I don't like the way that your secretary speaks to me. Why is she always antagonizing me? Must I take permission before I come to your office? Uh, Sissy, come on, relax. No, you need to calm down. My secretary is only doing her job. And it's our duty to scrutinize everyone that comes into this office and seek my permission to let them in. Even if the person is my mother. I can't just let everybody be batching in and out. You have to, you know, relax. Eh? She's only doing her job. What if I was having a meeting with the senior president in my office? Or even the head of state? So, as you know, my bank is well known and very active as well. It may also interest you to know that a lot of parliamentarians, but those at the federal level and the state level, have been running this fixed deposit account with us. Hmm. And I'm just hearing about it now? Well, sir, it's not entirely your fault. It is our job to bring the message to you. So that's the reason I am here today. Hmm. 
so i'll have to wait a whole six months for just only 50 percent don't you have a uh, like short term offer that can uh, you know give that same 50 percent no sir six months is the lowest we are offering in other words you have the remaining six months of the year to get your money for use hmm a whole six months for just ordinary 50 percent how can i make it a hundred percent it means it has to be done twice if you're extending it to a year you would be having a hundred percent when you combine both percentages but since it's constituency money six months is what's available for people like you uh, what do you mean by since uh, uh, people like me I, I don't understand we know that you may have projects you may want to oversee before the year runs out w what project huh how many projects does your parliamentarian in your area run with their own allowances huh i'm not into all those things so huh you better tell me more about this uh, investment i think i'm going in for a whole year so you see sometimes you just have to follow protocols mm -hmm. eh? protocols must be observed but anyway i will still talk to her so how are you and um what is it that we could not discuss on the phone that we'll chat about and you have to come here all right um i think i'm going to open the account with you guys thank you very much sir thank uh, you don't mention don't mention um and uh, before opening the account i think um we have to open something first i don't understand sir what else are we opening <sighs> Uh, you know, for me to be able to trust you with my money, I need to be able to, you understand? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Of course. Your money is in good hands, sir. Mm. Listen, we give details of every loan, investment, and... No, no, that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, all, all I know, I, I should, as a matter of fact, I don't even have time for all that. I can't keep track of that. All I know is that um, I put my money in, and in a year's time, I get my money double, simple. Yeah, so... Um, right, so what else are we opening, sir? Um, what we're talking about is, uh, you know you're a beautiful girl, and... Uh, yeah. Sadi. Yes? How long has it been since you promised me that calm money? Mm -hmm. eh? You know, I've been patient with you all this while, because I know they will soon release the constituency project's money. <laughs> See, see, if you like, rub my skull. This will work. Can you even hear yourself? I should use constituency project money to buy you a car. So the was there now. Am I not your constituent too? Why am I exempted? It, it doesn't matter right now. It's a different matter altogether. Eh? What are you saying now? I can't use public funds to fund your private life. Not even yours or mine. It's not done. Besides, what you even need right now is not the guy. I keep telling you. You need to take your studies more seriously. Graduate with good grades. I can even send you abroad for more, for more, more degrees. Or get you a very good paying job and you can acquire all these things by yourself. Zadi, do you know the amount of first class graduates that don't even have a petty job at hand right now? I know many of them that are even dispatch riders. Who told you getting a good grade in the country will get you anyway? Sadi, please stop. Oh, okay, fine. But but that's different. Your own case is different because you know me. And besides, you are my constituent. So, with my connections, I can get you a good job. Don't worry. Sadi, eh? With your connection, you can also get me a good car. Besides, the car in question is just 17 million naira. It's not even that expensive. Sissy, did you just say 17 million naira is just? If it's coming out of 200 million naira, is it not exactly? 17? 17 waiting? 17 million? Follow God. Sir? I really don't know what you always hide inside my toilet doing. Okay. What are you cleaning there for crying out loud? Not that I haven't used that play. I've not even used it in a very long while. I still make I clean the toilet, make it a shine. I uh, Bella just owe me. So I can't say make I put food there. You pulled in my toilet? Uh, I use uh, I use the toilet I put for there. What happened to the staff toilet? 
Hey, oh God, you know how sport they do person? He fold all person like this. Ah, before I go say, make I go our toilet, eh? Something go up, you know? And I know what made that thing happen for this kind of office. You know, go make say, make big person like me, people for body. Yeah, I see how big you are. It's okay. Follow call. Sir? Get out of my office. Now. Mm -mm. What do you mean by, by, by now? I say leave. What about the 17 million euros? That your father kept here? Is you that what you're asking about? Are you undergraduate? Kobo Kobo fake by 17 million euros. Whatever Kobo Kobo you are saying, I don't know what Kobo we are talking about. Out of my office. That should be good. Be quiet, please. Kobo Kobo fake by 17 million euros. Make sure you go and carry your, 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 your things and open that window, that toilet window. Open it. Okay. Make it airy. I have a serious matter to discuss with him. Um, Zadi is with a... Ah, ah. Follow up. Are you done? I never done. No. You know, Zadi just drive me come off for office because of one person where they did where I know who knew. Well, Zadi is with a guest. So I should wait for him because I need to see him today by all means. Um, you can go inside, don't worry. It's not an important guest, it's just a constituent. A constituent? Mm. Okay. Listen to me, Sissy. Like I always tell you, you don't need a car now. Because you will only end up attracting the, the, the wrong inconveniences to yourself that you might not be ready for at the moment. Daddy, like what? <sighs> Maintenance and fuel in the car. Daddy, buy the car first. Then we can start to think about maintaining and fueling it. Daddy, I think I need it. Uh -uh. Mr. Jacobo! Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good uh, afternoon. Is my secretary not on seat? Yes, she is on seat. She was the one that said that I can come in, that you are not busy. Are you serious? But I can actually go back if you are busy. It's all right. Please sit down. Sit down. Okay, uh, sis. I'll call you later. We'll talk. Hmm? All right. You say you needed some money. Yes, I did. Make it equal. Sir, if you check the whole of Ubetu community, there's no good water anywhere. There's no water to bait, let alone drinking water. So how have they been surviving all this while? Honorable sir, things are happening. If I tell you the mortality rate of uh, little children in that community, you'll be alarmed. Hmm. God have mercy. Uh, sir, you know my mom, my mother is from that uh, community, mm -hmm. so I have first-hand experience of what I'm telling you about. Uh, prior to this time, the, the people don't have drinking water, so what they do is they go to neighboring villages to buy water, you know. And uh, the thing is becoming serious now because of the exchange rate, things are difficult. Not everybody can even go to the neighboring village to buy water, so it's more like they are, they are pushed to the brink of uh, extinction as, as it stands. We will not get to that, Mr. Jacobo. Uh, but I promise you, I'm going to look into this matter. I will look into it. Please do, sir. I, even if it's just like 10 boreholes positioned strategically in some of the area in Okwetu clan, it will go a long way to help, sir. Mm, it's okay. Uh, thank you for bringing this to my notice. Like I said, I'm going to look into it. But first, I will connect you with my senior special assistant, uh, Mr. Kells. Okay, sir. The two of you will work together, do more investigation, and see how we take it from there. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, you're welcome. God will really bless you. You're welcome. Amen. Amen. You're welcome. Thank you once again for bringing this information to me. Thank you, sir. It's something I need to do. You know, they say water is life. Exactly. Thank you, sir. Exactly. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Honorable said I should call you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Mm. What's your problem? Calling my phone like that, you, 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 you watch for my phone? How much are they hold you? Four, 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 four pack of indomie and, 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 and two eggs. Now, I mean, you call my phone, watch for my phone. What rubbish is that? Emoji, emoji. I celebrate you, my son. How are you? Please stop it. I've told you I'm not your son. The fact that I come to your church at times does not make me your son. You are not my father. I'm not related to you. Glory. I'm not your son. I, I'm way older than you. Just because you are, you, are, you are a pastor of a small church, you are telling me, my son, my son. Stop it. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. You can be older than me physically, but in the name of the spirit. <laughs> I'm using walkie stick to walk in the realm of the spirit. Now let me tell you, you're supposed to be happy if I'm calling you my son. Do you know how many sons I have? How many daughter? I don't care. I'm One not of your my son. son that is getting married. Do you know how much I, the video I'm showing? Do you know how much I, I, give to, I, I give to them? I bought them 70 bag of rice. So yeah, in your mind, 70 bag of rice is what let me make the video let me marry success. You're supposed to be happy. Who 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 who, who, who accept as a son? Who in this world will accept as a son? You bastard and useless, reshed, poor, 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 I call you by seven to let me lay out for you. At Don't okay. try it. I'm not your son. Say it is Zadis office you are going to. I know you are going there to go and beg him money as usual for church projects that you never execute. I don't blame you. At least I have a church. I do execute projects once in a while. So whether I complete them, I don't complete them is none of your business. But what about you? Nothing. Nothing. Mm -mm. You have nothing. You are so poor. Even poor people now are looking for you to make it a shema. They are WhatsApp group shema. So that you can be dad me, sending test messages whenever people want to do gathering. So in your mind now, I don't have businesses I do. I don't have projects I attend to. For your information, I'm the youth activist. Oh. And I fight for the rights of the common man and everybody in this community. Activist, my nonsense. So you are calling yourself youth. You were supposed to be elder state man. Look at your stomach. My sure as well, like you call yourself, you say you, you, you be youth. Now poverty make you they, they put your put yourself beside you so please come out of it. Eh? Let me pray for you. I see demons banking. Pray for yourself. Are you hearing me? I don't even blame you. It's me that, that said hello at first now. Nah. It's not your fault. You, you want to pray for me. Have you prayed for yourself? Let me pray for you. Pray for yourself. So pray that you can yourself. talk. E emoji. You will not talk. No problem. Hold on, man. Next time you will do a thing like that, I will use delivery by to deliver your sack letter to your house. But sir, he said he had something very important to discuss with you. And I know anytime that gets here, you guys don't discuss anything important. So I had to send him in. What do you mean you guys don't discuss anything important? Huh? Who are you referring to as you guys? No, you are referring to me as you guys? Really? I you want to determine what is important and what's not important in my office? But sir. She only comes here to ask for money, money. But he is not just a constituent. Mr. Jakovo is our human rights activist, so I had to let him come in. Come in here to beg for money, money, money. Onome, oh, no, is it your money she comes here to beg for? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Have you not begged me for money before? Have you not been begging me for money even after you have collected your salary, your allowance, everything? Don't you ask me for money for family problems? So why are you making more love on that person asking me for money? Just a constituent and... Uh, and what? No, and what? Not this, sir. With your face like cheap breast made. There was no boyfriend. Hey, which can wala be this this afternoon? This is no day. I know see video and picture again. Hey, go to beg. Which can wala be this for this other afternoon? Hey. Follow call. Uh, what are you doing on my seat? Uh, and what are you doing on that laptop? 
Don't be sad to sit down on top of the seat. Oh. As I enter, I see everywhere dirty. The laptop did dusty. Now I say, make I use. Make I use my. And this thing where they use clean everywhere. Eh? My use clean the laptop made for shine when I saw the laptop eyes closed. You know, they would show face again. What I go do like this? Eh? Hey! Hey, what's not I celebrate the children of God. Please go to this house. Yeah, go to local door, go to local door. Hey, no let the guy here. Let the guy here be gone. I'm here. I go, I go. They buy bills for you free. I'm not going to collect money. I beg. What I go do like this? Don't you know they show face so dear. Follow call. Uh, how can you clean laptop with wet rag? Eh? Do you know how much is laptop? Seven months salary of yours is hey, gone. Hey, go that be good. See now village people just whisper for my ears. I use and clean now so that I go shine. I don't know, say go spoil like that. I beg what we go do like eh? this. You say what? We. Yes. Yes. We. There is no we in this. Yes. You are on your own. Did I ask you to go near the laptop? I think it will be partner in some There is nothing like we. You are on your own. <laughs> oh no, I beg, you know what you go do? She no talk. I feel carrying a gold pay. Why your umbrella they do like this now? Eh? I don't come. You are big. Go to go. Hey, Moji! Hey, Moji! Can you imagine this nonsense? Hey! Hey! Can you like this? Hey, Moji! Emoji, emoji, because emoji, wait, 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 emoji, emoji, I don't know for you now, emoji, eh? emoji, wait now, nah. emoji. Okay. I need your help seriously, eh? I need your help seriously, and I promise you, if you do this one thing, one thing for me, I don't go just go to your church, I go turn to clean up for that your church. What is it? <laughs> See, I'm not in good frame of mind, but since you have voluntarily said you want to work for the Lord, yeah. no problem. I will turn to her so what is the problem? What is the problem? Uh, eh, hey, na laptop, oh, La na laptop. You want to, you want to do Yahoo? Hey, the one we do me na pass Yahoo, pass Yahoo. Ah, Anome, how are you? What has laptop got to do with the service of the Lord? Hey, emoji, I don't go spoil laptop. Laptop will be saying at that time seven of my salary. Now it be the laptop. That laptop where on a they use for office. Now I go use a rag where wet clean. So the thing can't stop. You know they own, you know they work again. My father, my God. What sort of daftness is that? <laughs> eh? You know when they say laptop? And you are telling me you want to work in the church, you want to clean the, 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 the house of the Lord. Small time you go carry water, they clean our speaker, clean our fire and our microphone. They will not appear there. Hey, you see, now once person they learn, no, that kind of thing no go fear happen to me again. I don't know, say water, they spoil laptop. You, oh my father, you know when you say laptop? Is that, that laptop I saw, I saw at uh, on a man's uh, uh, off of table when I was hey, coming out? Now that same laptop. My father, my God. <laughs> so you want to put me into trouble? Where do you expect me to get that kind of money from? Anywhere, anyhow. Anyhow, anywhere you won't help me, I beg. Eh? Help me. I won't replace that laptop before God will find out. Eh? Please, Biko, help me. Because, you see, I, mm, I tell you, see, if you help me eh, with this thing where, you, where they beg you for, now me go force result for your church. Now me go come up for your church last, I beg. See, help he, me. see, if you, want, see, me, no. if you want to come and serve God, come and serve God. He's not telling me to help you to buy a laptop. When we say you don't support, salvation is personal and it's not the essence of goods and services. Hey, God, I beg you. Hey, magician, I saw you there, do. You know, if you be my helper, you know, if you help me. See, uh, cause I'm not, I, can't, I can't be your helper for now because I'm, looking, I'm still looking for helper. Helper looking for helper. See, let me tell you, let me give you the last solution. Carry that laptop and go to the village. Hey. Those herbalists and those who serve Juju there, they, will, they know how to enter the bush, pluck leaf, miss concussion to run that laptop for you, sharp, sharp. Sure, you say you believe in uh, traditional worship. You know, come to laptop. Oh. No, they know Juju people know they use machine. Oh. They, they use, they can't anywhere. They, they, they go, go abroad. They, go. they fly with that I'm going. Ah, emoji. Give me, you have anything for like rock cash? Anything with you? Let me talk to you. Get, get that! See, it's shoe. Rubbish. They hear they smell. Nothing Musa no go see for gate. Help, you don't feel help. Cash kill you there. Honorable oh, no, Zadi. Mm. You know, aside. Politics, you are like a brother to me. 
in this ministry. I cannot see something that will benefit us and uh, I will not carry you along. Mm. Uh, but, um, Honorable Malik, yes, truly, we are brothers. Mm. However, I hope this is not about the argument we had earlier in the morning of how you wanted us to sideline constituency allocation, the money. Allocated to, I, I hope this is not about that. Uh, uh, no, uh, this is different, but uh, uh, it's you know part of it. You know, let me explain. Okay, okay. I'm listening. There is this uh, young, pretty, sexy, hot damsel. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, you are the master of them all. Right, right. <laughs> Uh, she came to visit me in my office and brought this lucrative deal of investment mm. to me. And I felt that uh, I need to carry you along. Mm. So what is it about? Um, it's about how to invest this 200 million era in our position. And uh, how to see in six months time, it will increase to 300 million era. You know, we need this thing. Okay. Who do you have to talk to? How far? <laughs> Madam, Madam, my laptop. My laptop. Which one is my laptop? Eh? Hey? Is it laptop that you're using to do the assignment that I gave you? I just talk to you. <laughs> Madam, wala don't do. Wala don't do. Wala full grand. Which wala? Ah, wala do. As in wala do. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Wala problem oh, oh, don't do. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you know they use your number six. Hey, what did you say that they use water? Wash laptop. Madam, I know no now. I never used laptop before. The laptop too dirty. Now I say make I wash them small so that I go clean. You know no say go spoil. Hey, I'm like four hundred thousand naira now. Like they say they my neck like this. I don't even know it now. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> anyway, how far for office today? Uh, any woman find your back home? Madam. <laughs> uh, I need to call this constituent quickly before she goes to call me at the wrong time. Yes, hello. Um, I'm sorry I was unable to reach you throughout today. Yes, I will talk to you in the morning. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Bye. Before she goes to call me at the wrong time. Madam, eh? You know you're waiting, I tell you. I tell you, see, I don't get it busy for old neck for office. And before I feel concentrated with anything that happened, they help you monitor your husband now. I go gas get 400,000 for hand or for account. Baby! Yes, honey! <laughs> Madam, you did go. Uh uh, which can use less question be that? Didn't you hear my husband's voice? <laughs> Madam, I beg. I think I tell you about the 400,000. This is basically my neck. I beg if I borrow, borrow me. Pico. Small assignment when I give you. You know if it's one. The day here they ask me for money. Baby! Baby, I'm coming! Ah, Madam. Don't disturb me without I'm money big. talk. Eh, now only you I get to. I know if you carry this cross alone, I beg. <laughs> Don't disturb me with this money talk. Hey, we have our own face. Now you I vote for. I beg, madam. Vote for Jesus. Hey, God, I beg for which kind of. Hey.
They think anyone in government should be rich. Government money is free money. It's, a, it's money to be embezzled, lavished. You know, with people like Honorable Malik around you, know, that's what you get. Honorable Malik? Oh, yes. He was at the office today. You won't believe what he came to tell me. First, he came with a champagne that we should celebrate the money that was allocated to all parliamentarians to execute constituency projects. Ah, celebrate. Is it not the entitlement of the constituencies? Besides, I even think that thing is, the money is too small for them. Of course, that's how he thinks. That the money belongs to us. It's free money. We should lavish it. We'll pump champagne on top of money that is meant to serve the people. That's bad. That is not bad. That is evil. And he left angrily when he, when he saw that I wasn't reasoning in his own direction. But he later came back to propose something different in another direction, but still within the neighborhood of the same matter. And what did he return to say? Hmm. Hmm. Just like you even said, the money is not even enough. Hmm. So we can invest the money, make more profit, and do whatever we wish to do with it. And uh, you can use the rest to do some few things. I personally would have loved to uh, wait a whole year, but uh, it will interfere with some of the things I wish to do with the money. I don't have the luxury of that time. Well, it's fine that uh, you have realized that uh, you need to do some constituency projects. Mm. Now, you, now that you have decided to do one or two, that is a good thing. That is a good way to go. I intend buying one of these latest lessons <laughs> and also beefing up my security level. You know my status quo. I'm every day getting bigger and bigger. I cannot be moving with, uh, you know, you understand, you know these things. And um, also add uh, a swimming pool to my mansion that I'm erecting in the village. Honorable Mali. May the Lord have mercy on you. Amen. That was not a prayer. Ah, are you cursing me? What are you doing? What is even going on with you? Ah, eh? I don't understand. But why would you be saying you want to you want to sink and not that swimming pool in the house you are erecting in your village? Yes, when I get to the village, I can swim in that one too. But honorable oh, Mali, the house you have here in the city, you have a swimming pool. I've been to that house many times. I've never seen you swim in that pool before. Where are you swimming to? Eh? Why are you sinking pools of greed? Pools of selfishness? The people that voted you in power that are supposed to benefit from this money, that you are supposed to better their lives, you are leaving them to swim in poverty, deprivation, hunger, while you swim in luxury. And that. <sighs> Honorable Zadi, with all due respect, that I was elected to represent these people doesn't mean that I should. Live a comfortable life. I need to live a comfortable life and be safe. You know these things. How safe are the lives of those who voted you in power? How comfortable are they? You are here talking about beefing up your security, digging more swimming pools. Huh? You are, you, you, you are digging more swimming pools to swim in while they swim in poverty and hunger, like I said. As I'm here right now, I'm tired of letting policemen follow me about like I'm a bully of valley and make me look like I'm a criminal. I want to be free. You are here talking about sinking more swimming pools. Why the people you that voted in power can barely even have good water to bathe? Huh? Honorable Malik. Uh, Honorable Zadi, you are not from my village. So you don't know the level of security in that place. As a matter of fact, the level of security in my village is sub-zero. Even 20 to 30 policemen cannot make me safe. I cannot feel safe in their hands. It's your heart that is making you not to feel safe. Eh? Yes, because you are not a good person. That's what your heart is telling you. Eh? Yeah. Is that what you think? Eh? You tell you <laughs> Anyways, it's not like I will not do one or two constituency projects. I will. But um, anyway, I have decided that... Uh, I will carve out a huge sum of amount of money from the money, like um, 200,000 to buy hose, 
cutlasses, shovel, and uh, some uh, farm tools that I will share to all my constituents. At least that is their destiny. It's what they are known for. I've been here. Ah, why are you looking at me like that? You want to buy cutlasses, hoes, <laughs> and yeah. shovels. Yes. And share to your constituents. Of course. So that they can go and dig their own graves. No, you are seeing it from a very right. Why you are building more you are, you are building more civil pools and, and, and beefing up your security? You are seeing it from a very wrong perspective. After all, that is what we are mandated to do to encourage these people on farming in this country. Anyways, I will connect you to the lady I spoke to you the other time. Yeah. Um, she will come and personally debrief you on the investment deal to know if you are still interested. That's your friend, Sha. So what did you tell him? I told him to bring her to the house over the weekend that I'll be home. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can imagine how stressed you must have been at the office today. And what happened in the office could have increased your stress as well. Hmm? What happened in the office? The laptop saga. What laptop saga? Um, you do not know about the laptop. I don't know what laptop are you talking about. Follow come. Spoil to your nomes laptop today. Really? But how come things are happening in my office? I don't get to hear about them. You that is at home have to be the first to hear about it. How come? Uh. Hello? <sighs> Hello? <laughs> Sleep, oh. No, 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 you can't sleep. I ask you a very sensitive question. I want to know how you get information in my office before me. Baby, how the hectic deal? Thank you very much for having me in your house, sir. You are very much welcome. Honorable Malik here is more than a friend. He's like a brother to me. Yeah. When he told me about the package your bank is offering i said uh, why not come to the house so that we can discuss it conveniently that's very thoughtful of you sir that's all right uh so enlighten me about the offering your bank is uh, having at the moment okay sir it's very simple so you open a special fixed deposit account with us and you get 50 percent of whatever you put in there and for you to be at ease, we give you an update of what you've earned every month before the six or 12 months are done with. Honorable Malik here can attest to that. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, it's exactly what she just said, you know, if we do it. Mm, I see. So, sir, when are we going to hear from you? You will never hear from me. Yes. Did he tell you? that the money in question that he wants us to invest or put in your bank as fixed deposit to make 50 percent profit is meant for constituency projects money meant for the people who voted us in power we want to use it to trade for our own selfish gains did he tell you with all due respect sir selfishness is not the right word to use please mm. maybe i should use criminals thieves Yes, but what, what, what other word should I use? Uh, 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 honorable, you shouldn't be saying things like that. Eh? You should say me, not us. Eh? The way you are turning this thing to, I don't like it. What is going on? Sir, I really think you're misunderstanding this whole thing. There is no misunderstanding here. You spoke English. I'm going to be speaking English. Everything is well understood. Sir, you are a politician. Mm -hmm. And we mainly target people of your nature because you intend benefit from us once we've established a good working relationship. What benefit are you talking about? Relationship with us. What, what, what benefit? Who benefit? Where was she? Where was she? Who benefit? Who benefit? I don't know why you are saying. Friends, we benefit. Well done. How are you, Constable? Huh? Hi, Pastor. This is why you broke my back on this place, so you should say you agree and lash us close before you run console. Are you out of your mind? See, I'm looking at you because of Zadi. Why are you calling Thai Pastor? I'll be warning, I will tell Zadi because 
Your leg when they come for black gate, I shall cut her. I, I, all the salary, and then they they didn't post the picture as the best customer of the year for shower quarter for black it. I begged the guy to remove it. He said no. He almost one for I said, I don't want this guy to do. What benefit are you talking about? No, benefits how? Well, sir, calm down. I am very relaxed. Investment like this builds your relationship with our bank, thereby giving you leverages to bank loans. We can even go to the extent of funding your elections from start to finish. And once you get in power, you can pay us back. Can you imagine? You fund elections. Yes, sir. From start to finish. Yes, sir. What if the politician face the election? Or even if he wins, where is he going to get the money to, to recoup and pay back loans with interest? In your bank. Well, we are the ones on the business side of things. So we know how to go about it. All you should think about is how to have a good business relationship with us. And we will take care of our own side of things. What your bank is doing is totally wrong. Giving loans to politicians to fund elections. <laughs> loans should be given to people who have business plans, business prospects. Genuine people who need the loan, not to fund and sponsor elections. Not politicians where you, where you are not even sure. Eh? Acts like this is what makes elections very expensive. Even for the rich and the poor. But sir... But me no but. I totally disagree with this plan of yours of touching public funds. This is not our personal money. Public funds for any reason. Mind you, I'm not a saint. But you see, public funds, I will not touch it. Yeah, uh, honorable, you, 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 you should please behave. I come to terms with this thing. We I am very about. well behaved. I, I'm in terms with everything. Yeah. What I'm saying is, we shouldn't be touching public funds. People are suffering. Why do these people come and eat us? Eat, eat, eat. Oh, you don't ah. continue. So we better be using the money for constituency projects for constituencies. We should face our constituents. If we keep using their money, one day they will come and eat us. They will not hit us. And one day this kind of money will hook on your throat. Hook who? Okay. Hook who? Tell me the person that this money have hooked his neck. Right. Anyway, you both can go and continue your business as well. All I'm saying is, do not do it to my knowledge. I don't want to know about it. Not under my watch. That's it. This thing you are doing is not good though. This is a sweet opportunity. Remember, we have uh, four years now. I wanted the sweet go the killer. This one cannot kill us. This one, this one will not us. kill us. Remove the us. Okay, this one will not kill me. Good. Honorable oh, Malik, we're selling this together, of right? Of course, of course. Now we are together. Eh? We are together. Marie no. Women are more thief here. They are more, they are more criminal. I won't tolerate no disrespect from you. Who be this one? Ah, uh, uh, that person relax. Where you got that face like a uh, crowd where you run off from? Mr. Man. Eh? Mr. Man. Eh? Mr. Man. Eh? I mean, I call you. I forget. If not for this Holy One. Oh, Father, thank you, Lord Jesus. Yakababa. That minister to me says, Son, Son, Son. He called me three times. I would have laid curse on you and generation. I mean, I come on, Jairus. Why you go do your face like a monkey with the look like? You get this kind of power, then you get ass of money from Madam every day. Every day, rock cash. Every day, rock cash. Yeah. Uh, I have a prophecy for you. Oh, you from me or from my back? You see? Huh? My left flesh, the inside. Flesh killed you. Father, I want to see this one. Follow, come, come. Alpha. They've paid for the month, too. Mm -hmm. And you know, we agreed that you're supposed to drop 70% of your salary to make up for the laptop you spoiled. Uh, I don't pay my salary, eh? They don't pay, but something happened. What are you saying? Because I don't understand. Is it that they did not pay you or what? They don't pay, but something happened. Eh? You see that money? Eh? I don't use and invest. I don't deposit for fixed accounts. Eh? Eh? Mm. Wait, why am I 
Why'd you wait? If you're not waiting, you go think they're gonna shoot your leg. Wait! Hey, you are owing up to 400,000 naira. And you have the guts to go and put money in a fixed deposit account. And for local. No, I invest no, I invest in comfort. I go pay. Hey. They call me, call me, call me, call me, that's what I'm Why do you tell these people when they come to this place, they'll be like... Nothing Musa no go see for you. Shall pay your money. Uh, you know what, Sissy? Uh, why don't you meet me later in the day at the guest house? Honorable, I'm finished. I'm ready now, I'm ready now. I am finished. I hear the voice. Ah, I'm not here away. I miss his voice. I thought it was a lot directing me. Emoji, you're not saying anything. Oh. You're not saying anything. Say something to us now. Madam, if you see the way Emoji did to really enter this copper, you go fix the kidnappers one cash out. Emoji, oh, speak. Emoji. Oh, Emoji. Oh, Emoji. Oh, Emoji. It will not be, it will not be well with two people. Two people. Two people. Two people. Two people. Two people. Honorable, yeah. my word has finished. My what, what is going on? So you came, you almost gave me a heart attack. What yeah. happened? I've been duped. Duped? I've been duped. By who? High blood pressure bank has folded up. What? Hey, ah, they me. I have made a big mistake. Very big mistake. All the money when I got for church, shut and off with. All my investment is gone. Eh? Ah, ah, what did happen to your church money? Ah, oh, let me say that. You remember that bank lady? <laughs> when you convict me for that business, when you be like, say, you go tell you, say, bring two people and bring another two people, bring another two to keep two people and bring another two people to keep two people. Eh, what did happen? Never fold up. Eh, hey, Emoji? They never fold up. Uh-uh. They have fold up. Uh-uh. They have fold up. Uh-uh. Hey, okay, I have your bank, don't mind me. But I go mess up my sis. Okay, I'm not gonna panic, I'm not gonna panic, I'm not gonna panic. Hey, all my life savings, no. Oh. All my life savings, now I put for inside that thing, no. Oh. my life savings. <laughs> How did you even come to hear about it? Hey, your okay. God, that's the way they come out with honorable. As they don't come here, I'm not gonna run an emoji there outside. Now, that woman, that woman, you go, my little room. So she didn't talk the thing, the thing, they sweep me, they sweep me. Come like this, she put just for more. Go put my money inside, oh. I'm all like saving, sir. Will you keep quiet, eh? Oh. eh? How much did you put inside that you are making all this noise? Honorable, now my life savings. So the money where I don't work for now, I put the one and fifty thousand. Oh, yeah, yeah, send me your account number. Let me give you. Uh uh. Now, where are they using? 244, 74. Eh, put the many number. Miss Fidelia. Sir. Your bank is a very reputable bank. What went wrong? Well, sir, the bank went insolvent, and that's the reason it's been liquidated. Can you put that in a layman's language? Hmm? Because on an you go your journal. It is a case of a huge amount of loans than the amount the bank has in its possession. How is that even possible? I wonder. So when bank receive deposits from customers, they trade with these monies, thereby giving them out as loans to business operators, etc., with interest rates, which in turn benefits the bank. But in our case, we had too many NPL, which is short for non-performing loans. What, 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 what do you mean by non-performing loans? Look here. I don't care if those loans are living things that can perform. All I care about is my 200 million in one piece. I need to more than give me my own. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Have you not been giving your money by uh, Honorable Malik? Uh -huh. For the interest, we follow and come. They're not giving me. But they shut up your mouth. Huh? People are losing heads here. You're yeah, yeah, yeah. fighting cap. Please continue. A non-performing loan is when a customer hasn't made principal or interest payment for more than 90 days. Hmm. 
The bank already has a problem with that loan. Mm. But you told me the other time that you people fast track these things. Mm -hmm. Deposit, uh, how the business was, you fast track them, but the loan. So what, 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 what happened? Mm -hmm. So we do. But you know, everything has its complications. But the situation escalated because we couldn't raise money to cover for the losses. Really? If I may come in here, you remember uh, I talked about this before. Which means probably the bad laws came about from the people you gave these loans to. Your family members, your friends, and especially you funded people's campaigns and elections. Because I remember you telling me the other time that you can fund elections. And now you have funded a politician's elections, he has won or he has lost and refused to pay back the loan. And now you are in trouble. Is that it? And the customers are now going to suffer for what they have no hand in. Well, ma'am, life happens. We didn't pray or wish for any of this, but it has happened. Yeah, so um, we've resorted to selling some of our loans, assets, loan collaterals, in order to settle some of our, you know, pay back some of our customers. But then again, we are only paying customers who have below five million naira only for now. Glory, glory. What about uh, people like us that have uh, more than 250 million there? Um, so you just calm down and give and take maybe two years or four, but that, but that seven years. Ah. Seven years. Seven years. Hold on, Mali. Hold on, Mali. Hold on, Ah, you have to come down with me. Hold on, Mali. Hold on, Mali. Hey, we hit it together. Hold on, Mali. Hold on, Mali. As a fellow parliamentary, you need to say it. Say it. I go, you, you are threatening me. I'm not threatening you. You, you are threatening I'm not, me. It is constitutional. Say what it. do you mean is constitutional? I, where is it in the constitution to tell people to follow so-called so -so -so TV and watch so-called TV? You will not live here. Where, where, where is I, it I in the constitution? You must tell them. Where is it in the constitution to tell people to follow, watch, enjoy and subscribe to so-called TV? It, where it is being reviewed. It, is not, it, is, it cannot be approved. It cannot be approved. It, Say, say it very well. I'm not going to say anything. And you want to force me to tell people to go and watch, download, comment, like, enjoy Soko TV for what? Who is who are you? Who are you? I I, I am a fellow parliament. I'm not going to say more than that. Anything you want to do to me, you don't strike. <laughs>